Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in isometric. They have given you front view, top view. Now if you see origin, right hand side 150, height 65 and width 70. So 30 plus 85 plus 35 will be 150. So it will come on right hand side. Now see there are two parts. So we can start with this lower part. Or we can start with this circular part which is at the top. So I guess we'll start with the circular part. I'll mark 70, 70. Then I will draw longest diagonal. I'll mark midpoint, midpoint. From this opposite corner, we'll join line like this. Now from this point, we can draw curve like this. Same way, from here, again you draw curve. Again from here and from here. I hope all of you know how to draw isometric circle by four center method. So that's what I have done. Now I have to take all these points down by 65. So I'll mark all these points down. See this. So what I can do, I can mark this point down by 65. Let's say this is point 1. So this is 1 dash. This is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So I'll take point 3 also down by 65 and point 4 also down by 65. That is 3 dash and 4 dash. Now take 1, 2, original radius. Right? And from 1 dash you can draw R. Same way you take in, you can take 4 to this original radius and from 4 dash you can draw an arc and it will merge with that tangent. Now if you see this part is 35, see 65 minus 30, so 35 down. So I'll go down by 35 down, I'll write 3 dash and I'll draw curve. From 1 also I have to go down by 35. So let, let me write double dash. 1 double dash and 3 double dash. How much it is down? 35. So take this original radius. From 3 double dash you draw R. Take 1 to this radius. From 1 double dash again you draw R. So what I am drawing? I am drawing circle at a distance of 35. Now why I am drawing this? Because that inclined slot will merge there see this you take height 30 and when you draw this line it will merge with that so when it will merge with this circular part it will form a curved surface so that curved we have done This part won't be seen. Now we'll see this 30, 30. So 30 from here and 30 from here. And we'll join this slope. Now the same slope is behind also. So I'll take this slope behind. I will join like this. Then after this, we have to mark this distance. How much is this? This is 70. You take midpoint and then take 20, 20. Then this goes inside by 30. Now after that, this is dark, now this height is 15, so 
so this is what you will get then you draw a line from here now here again we'll draw this is how much 15 15 from both the sides so i'll cut 15 here 15 here and i will join this so wherever that line is intersecting that would be slope see this So we got this part, slope part. Now we need to draw that hexagon. This will be dark. This will be dark. We need to draw now hexagon which is at the center. So side of the hexagon is 25. So I will draw radius 25 then from here you cut on both the sides and from here you cut on both the sides so you will get hexagon because it's a vertical So once you got this hexagon, you convert this into a rectangle. See, write this as 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm writing with red pen. If you want, you can erase this naming inside one. Otherwise, you'll get confused. This is a center point. You draw center. You join both the centers. We'll get a plus like this. This is O. This is O. Now we need to mark 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll take O to this distance, horizontal distance. So let me mark this as X. Which is on both the sides. And vertical distance is Y. So what I'm doing, from O I'm taking this distance and cutting it over here on both the sides same way I'm taking O to this distance vertical distance and cutting it up and down then from here you draw lines like this so this is what you will get rectangle This is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is O. Now I can name this as A, B, C, D, E, F. So A is already there here between 1 and 2. For B, you take 2 to B and you cut from here. For C, you take 3 to C and cut from 3. This is B, this is C, D will be directly over there. For E, you take 4 to E, cut from 4, and for F, you cut 1 to F. Now we join all these points. After that you draw a vertical line which is 15, 15, 15. And you join this, you show this depth. So you take 15 from here also. 
So by doing this, you are done with this sum. I hope you people have understood this sum. Thank you. We can write O and 30, 30 degree as well as length, width and height.